Second race weekend of the BMW IBSF Women's Skeleton World Cup. We're in Innsbruck in Austria after a sunny weekend for the season opener. The weather has turned a little foggy, but the snow that fell on the men's race earlier today seems to have disappeared. Hello, everybody. Martin Haven and John Morgan ready to watch the action in our second race of the season. 25 sleds from 15 nations and John this track has produced an astonishing men's race today the women could be just as close yeah the uh the men the men's race uh total different leaderboard than last weekend you know and uh, the person who won last weekend barely finished in the top 10 this athlete here alina nicotina she owns the track record at the start and uh, is the favorite in today's race. But from what we saw this morning, a three-way tie for a gold medal, something I've never seen in my four decades of broadcasting. Bob Slunny and the yellow group. Uh, but the track, the track is such an easy track to get down. Up here, no mistakes allowed. Speeds are slow. Here, exit appraisal. This is where you have to exit with a wonderful slingshot effect. Still accelerating out of curve nine, the pivotal part of the track, and curve 10, the big curve 10. You're still accelerating down here, some more speed, and now this is max speed, three-quarter combination. We've seen people gain and lose time, track record. The Austrian herself, Janine Flock, who, uh, you know, is one of the favorites in today's race. But Martin, from what I saw this morning, all bets are off. It's anybody's yeah. race. I absolutely agree. Elena Nikitina, the winner last week from Kimberly Boss and Kim Marmons. Well, that was enough of an upset. Little Belgian Kim Marmons getting her first World Cup medal. And Janine Flock down in sixth position. She recovered a little from a disappointing first run. Kelly Curtis of the USA and Megan Henry, ninth and tenth. That bodes well for both of them. The Mimi Reneva struggling for form, as was Katie Ulender And Hannah Neiser of Germany down towards the bottom of the top 20. Well, we could see anything happen. As you said, Alexander Chetikov, who won the men's race, barely in the top 10. Thomas Ducours missed the cut. And uh, the silver medalist in the World Championship missed the cut as well. There's Valentina Margaglio. She's got plenty of hair game. She's got plenty of ice game as well, if last week is anything to judge by. But it wasn't necessarily a great weekend for the German women off the podium. And what about Janine Flock of Austria? I wonder what she can produce here. Conditions are very different, much damper. There's Lordies of Great Britain. So we'll wait and see what happens today. Well, our Olympic bronze medalist will be first off the top of the hill, followed by it is uh, Alessia Kripa and Dia Toroida of Latvia. Then we get into the top 15 sliders from the first race weekend. Alina Tararichenkova was in fourth place just off the podium, so the Russian will be another one to watch. Medalists, Elena Nikita, Kim Marmons, Kimberly Boss, all present and correct. And 25 sliders will go. <laughs> Olympic bronze medalist from Pyeongchang, Laura Dees of Great Britain, kicks us off her 54th World Cup race today. She was 20th last week here. Best result, a fifth place finish in 2019 in Innsbruck. Yeah, she's trying to improve off last weekend's times, that's for sure, Mark. You know, the Olympic bronze medal sitting this far back. Not for We've a while. Seen a few strange things this morning, so you never know. Well, she was in eighth place last year in January, or last season in January this year. But only 20th last week. Well, keep her eyes. I mean, the person who went first last week in all these disciplines, including Bob Stunt, had a big advantage. That wasn't the case in the men's race this morning, but the track was sticky. The first yep. five, six, eight athletes just never got it going. Including Trenchikoff, who won last week's event, who finished top 10 this week. He went early in the race. 54 82. That's almost the exact same time as she had last week, Mark. In fact, all right. last week, she had a 54.87. So this is a little different than that competition, that historic competition we saw this morning, uh, where the track times were a half second off. Here it looks like it could be the same, or Laura just had a much better heat this time. But this well, is the Olympic hope. bronze. 
Yeah. Long Olympic bronze medalist from four years ago. She shouldn't be back in 20th place. Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. No, you would hope that she's having a better day today than she did last week. Well, next up, Italy's Alessia Kripa, former Alpine skier. Tenth World Cup for the 21-year-old. And four of her previous World Cup races have been here. So this is her fifth of ten World Cup races in her young career on the Innsbruck track. Three last year. This is the second this. Didn't make the cut last week. 547 start last week. 542 this week. A little bit more. Young athlete Martin, you know, trying to advance herself. A lot of the Italian loose team, this is almost like their home track. Most of the Italian loose team is from South Tyrol. Two hour ride, Portina, for the 2026 Milan Portina Olympics. The Alpine, top, loose stall for the event to be held. Doesn't have the speed of Laura Dees. How far back will she be? She was 13th here in the race in December, one of the races in December last year. Across the line, 55-03. That's two tenths back of Laura Dees. I think Laura had a better heat. Yeah. And these two were, you know, 20 and 21 last week. Yeah. 55-03, yeah. So she's 1,500 slower than she was last week, but uh, her and... Laura Dees were 21 and 22nd last week at the end of the first run. Yeah. A little tap. You know, it's worth some time, especially because she's, Luke, you know, moving her feet around and not a bad entry into eight, but a little bit of an exit air. So Laura Dees leads from Alessia Kripa, third of our starters, her eighth World Cup, and Dia Torada of Latvia. <laughs> Bronze medalist in the first race in Sigulda last season, her first ever World Cup appearance. And three of her previous seven World Cups have been on this track as well. She's got to take advantage of the, you know, the start. I don't think she was perfect at. 2600s behind Laura Dees. Laura has habitually been one of our quicker starters. Second best speed, though. Aren't she pretty good on the Olympic track over there in China a few weeks ago? She had a ninth place finish. Well, learning at Segulda definitely makes you a driver rather than a glider. And maybe that's going to be her strong suit come the games. Let's see what she's got. She dives to the line. 4,300s back. 100 back. It is going to be tough to make the field from there. There's 2,200s gap between her and Alessia Frippa. So you would suggest that probably Alessia will be safe. Five of our athletes won't go through to the second heat. Well, she didn't make the cut last week, Mark, finishing 22nd. She yeah. finished just behind. Ms. Kripa, so uh, it's pretty much the same. You know, look at the feet moving. She's trying to adjust. And when the foot's coming out there like that at 65 miles an hour, that's not aerodynamic yeah. either. So, yeah. And here, well, still unsure of herself, but now she's in that perfect bullet form. Eighth World Cup race for Andia Tarauda. And she may be struggling to see the second heat of this one. Third World Cup start for Kelly Curtis of the USA. That's Alina Tararichenkova waiting to go next. She's the fifth of our starters. The Russian finished in fourth place last week. And Kelly Curtis at the top of the track. Although the snow isn't falling currently, they still have the snow sweeping protocol. So every third sled, there'll be an extra pause to allow snow to be cleared out of the truck, track and out of the, the runners groove as well so that all helps 
Springfield College in Massachusetts graduate. She's uh, now a, she's an Air Force Airman. A lot you've seen quite a few. In fact, the other athlete for the United States, Megan Henry, is also a military athlete. Yeah. So the U.S. is starting to do what the Germans and the Italians and the Russians do. And military athletes makes it easier for them to have a career and make money and compete and represent their country. Last week was Kelly Curtis's second World Cup race. She finished in ninth place. She made her debut in Koenigsegg January 21st, uh, January 2021, rather. And 5.47 the getaway. She cut her eye teeth on the America's Cup tour, where she did pretty good. She, you know, gold and Whistler and 17. And, you know, so she's, you know, she's put her time in to get to this stage, Martin, in the last few week, top 10 finish. Pretty impressive. Yeah, really impressive. The lead first race here. And good speed as well. A little wild on the exit. Throwing the advantage over an Olympic bronze medalist. Still the best speed. Good speed here, too. Could be the leader here, Martin. She's still thinking her way down this track. There's a lot more heels apart stability going on but that's a big run wow that is a very good run again from kelly curtis 1700 slower than her first heat or faster than her first heat last week and we saw this morning this is not a quicker track i'm not sure it's going to be a quicker track this afternoon either but another week of practice has helped her learn more of the intricacies of this innsbruck track yeah, she's 1700s worse than her first heat last week, but watch her feet come apart here. A little unsure of herself as she comes off the exit, the slingshot part of the track. Look at her feet. You know, your toe dragging there a little bit, so a little mistake there. Again, so easy to get down. Hey, Jesse. Hey, girl. Hey, mom. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. So hard to get down fast. Well, next up, one of the big stars of last week, Alina Tararichenkova of Russia, finished in fourth place in what was only her seventh World Cup start. 100-meter hurdler from Moscow, just 21 years old. And she's not a coming slider, she's arrived. Look at that, 5.30. Start time. Well, that's the uh, That's impressive. Fourth last week, Martin. Missed the bronze by 10 hundreds. But the Russians, you know, she was seventh over in the uh, China event, Yang Xing. Well, when you got a start time like that, Martin, there's a lot of great chances of winning medals. If you don't finish in the top ten, it's very disappointing. Well, she was in and out of the Russian team since she made her debut back in 2017. I think she's definitely earned her place here. And fourth in the World Championships was a really good indication of where she was at the end of last season. She's right there now. She's going to lead comfortably. Three tenths nearly. That's a big run from her as well. Hey, Martin, we talked about her fourth in the World Championships. We talked to her top ten over in China. Last week, fourth. Yeah. She's arrived. She has arrived. Yeah, yeah no question. <laughs> Well, look at the bullet form. A lot of confidence coming off the curve. Look at her feet. Oh, a little bit of a toe tap there. Just a, a quick little minor adjustment. Then here's on the exit of nine. Do we see spray coming off the runners? She might want to get that little strap on her chin tied up because, believe it or not, that's a hundredth of a second uh, down that straightaway. And that can be the difference between win, lose, and draw on this track. Alina Tararachenkova, the leader. Next up, the hometown queen, Janine Flock, the leader in her eighth World Cup. Janine Flock in her 89th World Cup start today. She's been around for a long time. Last week, John, only the second time since 2013 that Janine Flock has been off the podium in Innsbruck. She didn't have a very good Nanjing event. She was almost double digit. Yeah, she was second at the gap over there. Oh, she's got the best the speed. Crystal. She's 3,200 now. Martin, if there's anybody who knows where that Austrian shortcut is in this trap, it's this lady here. She is a queen of speed, best wow. speed again. It's got to be coming out of 15 or something. 
19. She's gonna run out of track, Mark. She's gonna get close, but she's gonna run out of track. I hope she proves me wrong. Oh, 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 oh. That is some speed of, you know, speed on the bottom part of the track there. But she got beat by 1800s at the start. Yep. That won't be such a factor over there in the China track, but here, boy, she's got six sleds down. She's got the fifth best start. She'll have probably the 13th or 15th best start. But Mark, she knows how to fly in the bottom. Yes, she Which sure is why does. she's the World Cup season champion from last year. Very consistent slider. Little mistake there, unlike her on the exit of, you see the toe out for the, the rudder, the little change of direction. Correction, and how's here? No strap falling around, her toe comes down. Another toe. Give her a B plus, A minus there, Martin. Pretty decent run from Janine Flock. She doesn't put in many stinkers down this track. Knows it inside out. So snowblowers are out again before Jane Channel of Canada, our seventh slider. That is a great belly pan. Look at that. A beauty for the Canadian. This is her 50th World Cup start. The 32-year-old from North Vancouver only did one World Cup last year. Finished in third place in Koenigsegg on the run into the World Championships. Had to earn her place in the team again in uh, ICC. Two silvers, two bronzes. Best result here, a sixth-place finish. That was back in 2017. Coach there with the sleds, just making sure that Jenny, uh, that uh, Jane is completely aware of how long to go before she is due to be on the ice. Martin, she's always got a great start, but in China, Yangqing track, she was 22nd, even though she had the second best start in the first heat. Wow, she had the second best start, Martin, and uh, finished 22nd. Well, she will have learned something. Last week, seventh place with the fourth and sixth best start. A 25 last week, Martin. So a 25 here would have her be the best starter in the field so far. Probably a 27 or so. All right, let's see what Jane Channel, the Canadian, has got for us. It's 31. A couple hundreds back. She beat Cherikova at the start last week. Both runs. Not today. Better she's speed on the exit, speed. though. Yeah. Yeah, that shows you how she's got that extra burst the last five meters and her power step out of the sled. Now, now she's now, bringing it back. Under. Second best Before. speed. But only Janine Flock was quicker. Half. Little touch. Yeah. Top three speed here, top four. Nope. Probably going to be third, Martin, at this pace. Yeah. Whoa, Seventh place right last week. Whoa. Four hundreds between first and second, and she is third at the line. Twenty-eight hundreds back. That's a large slice of time lost. Just a hundred ahead of Kelly Curtis. American slider now in fourth, and as ever, the undignified dismount as you hit the foam. Are really in the lap of the gods as to how and where you end up. Tap. That doesn't help up top. Here, exit of the Chrysler. Same picture we saw, just different side. And down here, this got away from her down here, Martin. Look at that. Yeah. Anytime you see the legs come up like that, you're challenged. Here is our winner from last start. week. Elena Nikita now with five wins on this track. The World Cup points leader wrestling it out of the start group. Same start time as she had in the first heat last week. On her way to victory, but in the second heat, she improved by 600. That's when she realized it is do what she does best, which is start the sled. Well, her first ever win came here. 
in Innsbruck in 2013. And then for about four seasons, it looked like she was never going to win again. And then suddenly she found the key. Look at this thing. Oh, the lady for the start. 87 was the time last week. 35, she's still pulling away. Yeah. Boy, Mark, this is going to be the speed. Only under 54. Wow. 53, 80. She's faster than she was last week on the first run by seven hundredths. Wow. She had the second best time last week at 80. <laughs> and she knows it. She doesn't have to look. She can feel it. She knows that was a good one. But she the goofy puts it smile together on the helmet. With that type of yeah. rocket start. She is the best on the planet in yep. this little sport. Ooh, she had to adjust that. It looks like that groove's yep. throwing everybody away again, Martin. It is a little bit at the start. Just throw. Saying hi to the folks back home. Last week's winner is our leader. Last week's bronze medalist next up. 46th World Cup start for Kim Marmons. First ever World Cup medal last start. week. 531 is what she had last week. Nicotina just went down to the 17. She's got to get 328. So she's improved her start by 300. It's going to help her. And no one had the better glide speed down the track than this Belgian athlete here. Talked about how many times she's been so close to the podium, Martin, fourth, fifths. Never got on the podium, but last week she got rid of that. All the Look at that. Best speed. 2100's back. Oh. She's got the best speed. That's a mistake. That's going to cost. I don't know if she's got the best speed here. Good run out of nine. Best speed. Scoop has gone away. away. Really hurt her. First to second, though, is four tenths of a second, so she should be in second place ahead of her leader, Tarachenkova. Fourth. Oh, wow. Those two mistakes. Those two mistakes, uncharacteristic of her. She didn't do that last week. And Martin, her finish time, 54.28. So she's 4,100 slower. Nicotina was 700 better than she was last week. Kim, four tenths slower. This was the first air exit of the Chrysal. This is the same shot, different angle. There's the mistake, but she drifts hard to the other side of the straightaway. She hits there again, and then she has to go in the curve on the wrong, you know, in the wrong angle. So she has to steer hard there with pressure. Now she comes down. Looks like she's corrected it by the time she's got here, but that slingshot effect up there in the exit of Chrysler, she didn't slingshot correctly. So Kim Marmon's not stitching it together perfectly today. Well, there are the 400 plus needle spikes on the toes of the on the soles of the sliding shoes. 375 to be exact, Martin. All right, there you go. 16th, 16th of an inch. And if you're on a four man bobsled and uh, those things can do damage on the guys riding two, three and four, because the well, three and four can. guys don't always fit in those sleds comfortably. Skeleton athletes don't have to worry about it, but there's a lot of scars on the back of bobsledders' backs from those spikes. <laughs> Tina Herman of Germany, 29 years old, a four-time women's skeleton world champion, more than any other woman in history. This is her 58th World Cup race, her 10th World well, Cup Martin, start here. She's won the world championships. She won the team world championship title. Then she went to Yang Ching, and she won the test event a month ago. But last week, a disappointing eight. Yeah. She might have had some different runners on, but this lady here, you know, the silver medal is the first loser. This is a very competitive athlete. Uh, she won the world championships great. also on this she track did. in 2015. Yes. And then won the World Cup the following year, but has had just one bronze medal since then. And that was back in race one last December. Okay, 556. She really gets beat up at the start. 555. So she's already 38. That's going to grow to 50 at the next clock. 
Remember, Nick Phoenix made no mistake. Six to six. No way she's coming back to this, Mark. She might sneak into fourth. She needs to be perfect the rest of the way down. And she's got the best speed. Well, this is what Ooh, we expect out of her. What a great exit, Ooh, though. She got out of there nice. Mm -hmm. 61 only. Needs the top speed here to get a top right. three. Second best speed. She's Good speed, but she's making too many mistakes. Still six tenths back. She has not gained at all on Elena Nikitina. What she look behind by the line, line hits the wall seven tenths back. A hundred from Jane Canal. Yeah, Canal who beat her convincingly at the start. Look at her. So Chanel fifth, Tina Herman sixth, tied with Kelly Curtis. Those three sleds covered by one hundreds. All That's these right, mistakes. Tied with Kelly. Down too early here, too hard. Big error off the Kreisel. And look how much she has to work to try and sort it out. And then out of nine as well, it was ugly. This is a mistake here, though. Out of yeah. Kreisel wasn't too bad, but here, look at her feet. Look at she's trying to look at her. Both feet are extended out, and then she does still ends up hitting. She doesn't want to hear it. USA's Megan Henry makes her 10th World Cup start, a US Army WCAP athlete. Her only ever World Cup medal came here. She was third a couple of seasons back. American University athlete. This in Roxbury, Connecticut. Not bad last week, also in the top 10. Not quite sure how the Americans celebrated Thanksgiving over here yesterday, but at least the skeleton athletes weren't training. A little tap. Top five run at the moment. Ahead of Jane Channel. Good Trying to chase there. down Kim Bilemans. This could be another speed. big run. Tenth place last week. This is a good run, Martin. This really is better good than run. last week. This is good. So, fourth of the awesome. line. It is ahead of Kim Myermans. That's awesome run for Megan Henry. She's tied with Austrian Janine Flop. That might be her best competitive heat, although she did win a medal on this track a couple years ago, Martin. Yep. We do have to remember that. I think her about previous World Cup season. season. Yeah. Look at her. She's Long still unsure there, skid. but she, she yep. kept it off the wall. <laughs> Hi, I love you. Thank you. It's Big a good smile run from for her. Megan Henry. Elena Nikitina leads from Compatriot Alina Tararichenkova. Janine Flock, Megan Henry, Kim Mileman's head the chasing pack. Ten sleds down, 15 to go, all aiming for the remaining spots in the race. Valentina Margaglio is 11th of our start number. 18th World Cup for her. She finished in fifth place last week here in Innsbruck. Let's see what she's got today. One of the best starters in the field. 517 is the best start. 518. This young Italian who started off in the back of Bob Sleds is uh, Carbonari from the Italian sports program. And Martin, she is coming on. She's 100, 100 meter off the lead. Going. Wow. Valentina Margaglio, one hundredth away. That gap opens up to 500. Doesn't have the speed of Nikitina. Yeah, I think she's there, too. Though so she doesn't have the experience yet on this little play. No, but her World Sweet Cup best at fourth place here was in January. 3,300s back, still in second place. Could she be one of our medal shocks this weekend at the line? Oh, what? She was in second place second the going into the labyrinth, and it all just went away there. Well, her oh, mistake boy. was made up, Martin, up above uh, curve eight out of Kreisel and in the exit of nine. She made a couple of mistakes, but when you got that type of start time, yeah. You can make a few mistakes. She's Not that many, unfortunately. Right yeah, she could have been second, ended up in sixth place. Watch the drift here. 
to the right side of our oh. picture. Oh, she, that slide was really yeah. loose there. That's a real bump look there. The and, yeah. Wait, look at the skid, too, that it caused. We haven't seen anybody skidding like that. Watch the skid here at eight. Not bad. She corrected well, in fact. Yeah. I kind of threw her into the middle and of the track, but late here as well. Nine. Yeah. That's why she There's had no speed at the bottom. where your time went away right there, Martin. Exactly so. So Valentina Margolio, fifth last week, currently lying in sixth place. Her World Cup best here is fourth, but she is a long way away from... Actually, she's not a long way away from the medal. She's only 400s from Janine Flock, who's third. Bright orange on the back of Kristen Bromley, the coach. And this is Dutch athlete Kimberly Boss, 28 years old. Third in the World Championships. Behind Tina Herman, the silver medalist, uh, I beg your pardon, in the World Cup, between behind Tina Herman, who was uh, the runner up, and Janine Flock, the champion. And a great race last week to the silver medal position. She now has four the first silver heat, medals. Martin, at the end of the first heat, Belgium was leading, the Netherlands was in second. We yeah. aren't used to seeing that type of leaderboard. <laughs> no, but isn't it great just to see everything getting it's shaken awesome. up a little? Oh, small nations. Yeah, 36 World Cup start for Kimberly Boss. She's got three silvers and a bronze on this track out of her seven medal haul in her World Cup career. This is a happy place for her. Very efficient load onto the sled. 31, 540. Oh, Mark. She's 900 slower than her first heat start in the last week. That is going to definitely challenge her. She's going to need to have an absolute perfect run to put herself into a metal position. Four tenths back already, perfect and that perfect. gap will grow to Nikita. Oh, no. 3,700. speed. Look at the speed with that start deficiency. She's said, look at the best speed. Bring it back to 30. She's got the best speed here. She could be a top three. She's got she the should speed. be second. Here she comes. Kimberly Boss, silver medalist last week, bringing wow. the gap down to 2100s from four tenths. How close will she be at the line? And Nikita, 2300s wow. back. Well, there's your skill account. Mark, if she would have had 500s better, 300s better at the start, she would have been the leader. Yeah. 500s better at the start, she would have needed it. But she... Oh, wow. Second place behind Elena wow. Nikitina and ahead of Alina Tararachenkova. Second best speed of anybody. Boy, she was out of control down there in the yeah. lapids, but she let Letting it go. It fly. She steer. Yeah. And when you no. don't steer, you don't create friction, and you, you just have hold the your breath. To go fast. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Jacqueline Lerling of Germany next up. 47th World Cup race for Jacka. Still just 26 years old. You forget how young she is compared to some of the experienced sliders. Olympic silver medalist, World Championship silver medalist last February. Last week, though, 11th place. And, John, that was the first time ever that she has been out of the top nine in nearly 50 World Cup races. At the start, 6,100 back at the start. Wow. Yeah. And, you know, she is one of the, the queens of speed here on these tracks. But on this track here, her start really get exposed. But she's won medals in, on this track before, Mark. She probably won it yeah. over the event. Yeah, she was a bronze medalist in the first speed. race here this year, uh, last year. She won here 2019-20 season, ahead of Janine Fogg and Megan Henry. I was going to say, maybe we just made it everything for the second half of the year, but the German men, they were one of the three on the podium this morning for the gold medal. Once she got at the line, 55 wow. flat. That's not what she's used to being in, Mark. We, we all know nope. that. Um, but of course, this is November. 
And she's got a favorable track over there in Yangqing with the nine seconds longer. Yeah. And of all the tracks, she'll this have is a the chance. one that hurts her the most. Yeah, she'll it's, have a chance to make up yeah. time with that nine seconds because she is a good glider. So Nikitina remains unchallenged at the top of the pile. Jacqueline Lerling could be out of the top 10 again. Yulia Kanakina of Russia gets away very quickly. The 26-year-old, 41st at World Cup race for her. She too finished out of the top 10 last week in 12th place. Start another, you know, awesome start. All three Russians, top starters in the field. get the sense a little that she has been completely overtaken already by Alina Tararachenkova. Yeah. Yeah. And that can't be a but great feeling happy. now, trying to find her form again. i got to believe the Russians will qualify three female athlete fights for the Olympic Games. 3100's back. She's, she's doing pretty good here, too. Third place. Wow. Norton, I think the track's speeding up. Nothing and she is ahead. Busted, but she Kanakina. is ahead of Tararichenkova by 100. That is very impressive from Kanakina. I mean, we got three Russians in the top four? Yeah. Wow. Starts 23. You heard her coach telling her 23. And she comes down in third Pretty spot. Not sure of herself there on that exit, but she straightened it out. Yeah. And quietly goes down to 10 here. Where we see Kimberly Boss was on the edge. Kind of kidding her. Pretty conservative lines. A little unsure of herself. Gets in the big steer there. 75 miles an hour with your yeah. chin inches off the ice. <laughs> or not inches, indeed. So Yuli Kanakina slots into third place. Alina Tararichenkova in fourth. Kimberly Boss is second, but Elena Nikitina remains comfortably out front. So in the orange jacket is the Dutch coach holding the sleds there for Jackie Narakot. An awful lot of the smaller nations in terms of numbers help each other out, left, right and centre. So Joske Leconte's there, not Kristen Bromley. It was the snake hips that fooled me. There's a Bromley sled. Married, of course, to Don Parsons, Olympic bronze medalist in the men's skeleton in Pyeongchang. And Jackie, 13th place last week. And her previous best here you know, is an eighth place in January 2020. But it was a good start to the season for the Aussie. Fourteenth at the Yangqing Olympic track earlier this month. You see that clock up there, the 30 seconds to go. She gets off quickly. She started her career in bobsled, yeah. Mark. There's a lot of there these athletes is. that started in bobsled and realized it's a little easier over here on this side of the track. 5.53 gets away. Three tenths behind Yuli Kanakina, who just slid into third place. She had two good runs last week into 13th place. Pretty decent way to start the season. Look at the speed here, Martin. I yeah. think the track's speeding up. Well, take anything you can get out of this track. Oh, a little wild. And skiddy, but still decent speed. Yeah, Is this going to put her in the top 10? Top 10 out of this. Yeah, She's she coming. could well do. Seventh best speed. Be Good start from Jackie Narakot. And at the line, 12. 12th place. Well, right where she was last week, 12th, 13th. Who's 13th? Laura Dees. Wow. Last week. Laura Dees is a quarter of a second behind her. 
He's 1,700s better than our first heat last week, Martin. Yeah. So the track is... is well, if she'd been... Tougher for us it, to be exact. If she'd been 800s quicker, John, she would have been in ninth, not in 12th. That's how close it is. Yeah, her big thing, though, her start was slower. Whoops. By yeah. 800s. <laughs> Whoops. No, her start yeah. was the same. Start was the same. I take that back. As next up week. from Canada, Mimi Reneva. Tied for 14th place with the next slider, Anna Fernstedt. 33-year-old from Calgary. Has been struggling for fitness and form. Didn't race last season at all. It's her 33rd World Cup start. Martin, if you remember, she used to have one of the top starts in the field. Yeah. It's a bit of a pack now. 2,600. Tenth best start. Seventh best speed at that point. You know, with perfect lines here, she could crack the top ten, which I'm sure she would take. Not compete with Yang Chin. In fact, the best Canadian fighter there was Elizabeth Meyer in Yang Chin. Yeah. He then didn't get selected Chen to Chen compete Alfred. for Canada at all. Six best speed. Mimi is coming back, but the gap is huge. 56 hundreds. Could be, Should be a top ten. Could be a ten. Yeah. Could be a top ten here. He's got good line. Ninth nice place yep. at the line. She's two hundredths ahead of her teammate, Jane Chanel. Yeah. Well, 14th last week. She's in ninth place at the moment. Yeah, and there's now a tenth from her in ninth to Jackie Narricott in 13th. Tina Her Herman, the world champion, the winner of the event in Yang Ching. She's 11th. Mm -hmm. That's confusing. Good lines here. Hi, Al. Hi, Alexina. Hi, everyone back home. From the Czech Republic, Anna Fernstedt. Her 31st World Cup, her 18th for the Czech Republic. She's had six World Cup races here already, including last week. And again, last week tied with Mimi Reneva for 14 spots. What's she got today? No, she's got a efficient start time, Martin, but she can let it fly. She's a you know, good queen of speed. Rick over there in the Yang Ching event. So that, you know, with a thousand meter, thousand or nine seconds longer track, she's gonna have a better chance over there in China than she does on this short 1200 meter track there. Is it called the I learned to drive in Koenigsee and Bavaria. And Bavaria, in Bavaria. So she knows how to drive. Back a little bit. Perfect line. Third best speed with that start. Here she comes. She's at 15. You could get it down to top 12, Mark. Yeah. 14. Still third Flying. best speed. Third best speed. Top 11, 12, 14th place. But she's close. Yeah, 100 behind Jackie Narricott. So we now have 800 behind. She's only 900s behind Jane Shadow, Tina Herman, yeah. Ker Kelly Curtis. So she's and got a chance, a good second run, to get into the yeah. top 10. So ninth place, Mimi Reneva, down to 14th place, Anna Fernstedt, 1100s. That's now six sleds covered by 1100s of a second. Well, she sneaks out of there very nicely. Not much wrong with the run, just the first... 50 meters put her in a deficit position. And on these short 1,200 meter tracks, it's hard to overcome. The person that had the best start time so far, Martin, is the person that's leading the race. Does that tell you anything? <laughs> well, second was the eighth quickest starter and fifth, the 13th quickest starter. But yes, generally, if you can start, you can survive. Loving the Christmassy what? feel to the shoes there. Yeah. Yeah. Those shoes are awesome. Well, plus stars and stripes, plus red, white, and blue, plus, 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 double plus. And uh, this is the sled of Katie Ulender, the most experienced slider in the field. This is her 92nd World Cup start. 
Uh, the next Katie two most really experienced well. have done 58. Yeah. Well, That's yeah. world champion. She's a former world champion. She was fifth in the Yang Ching event, the best American, you know, a month ago. And last week was 15th or 16th. Just couldn't get it going. Yeah. She had a few issues with the finish too, with the, you know hitting those rubber mats. And, but uh, there's one thing we know about Katie Ulander: she is a competitor. She is that. 37 years old, 92nd World Cup race. Best result here: a silver medal on her first visit to Innsbruck in World Cup. That was 2007. That's a long time athletes. ago. We have athletes in this field that were born in 2000. So, boy, she's got the experience, and, as you say, that fire. 5.45. When, when she won that medal, and a number of other world championship medals, and a world championship, she's able to be top three or four starts in the field. Yeah. But, you know, she knows how to glide. Doesn't have smooth ride. She, 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 Trademark for feet being separated on the back of the sled. No time from the 12th to the 9th position now, so she's moving up. 19th of our starters. She's got top 10 written all over this, maybe higher. The late Tenth best the race. race. You want, you want yeah. As the USA number one sled, she's doing good. Megan she's Henry is 5th. Kelly Curtis is 11th. It's her and Kelly Curtis, and she is ahead of Kelly. And she is behind by Megan Henry by nine hundredths of a second only. Again, super tight grouping. Yeah, she's Eleven hundredths down to yeah. Megan Henry. Good run. There's her feet. That's she's been doing that forever, so. Some people have that bullet form. Yeah. Katie sort of comes down and manhandles the track. You know, that's you could put what her in she's a, done her whole career. Put her in a white helmet and a white suit, and you would know who it was just from the sliding style. Yeah, yeah no question. So Katie Ulander, ninth place, 19th of our sliders. Our 20th slider, Brogan Crowley of Great Britain, will complete the field. Ulander with 92 World Cups today. This is the eighth for Brogan Crowley, who finished just behind Katie. Her best result here is a fifth place in January this year. Fourth best start, 100th off the uh, start from last week, but she's on two there. And uh, 17th last week. I'm sure she's looking at moving up. If you just want to do the personal best, don't hurt me. Former heptathlete came into the sport as a result of Lizzie Yardold taking gold in the games. 15th in Yang Ching. This is still a top Not 10 run, a little skid there. The speed is going away, though. She's gone out to eighth place on the splits, maybe somewhere around where she was. Well, maybe top 12. To 13. Yeah, holding her form to the line. Good run to the line, 15th wow. at the bottom. Yeah. Boy, she threw away a lot of time, Mark. Well, only her she eighth had... World Cup start of her career, although she has Four had five, five of them here. Four, five, eight, 12, and 15, the splits. So shows me a little bit of inexperience. She has a good start. Yeah. With that good start, you have a chance for a successful career. A little late. We haven't seen many sleds up that high on the outlet of the curve. The outlet is where you get off the curve. Take on where you get on. Good athlete right there. Yeah, finally recovering from a series of ankle surgeries. It is Elena Nikita, though, who is our comfortable leader. 20 sleds down, five still trying to fight their way into the field, including Germany's Hannah Neiser. Like Brogan Crowley, this is her eighth World Cup start. Youth Olympic silver medalist in 2016 on this track. So she knows her way down here, or she did when she was a kid. It's her or Indija Teralda of Latvia who will make the field. Now, Mark, the persona of this track for the Yang Ping. She was second in, in uh, Yang Ching. She was eighth in this track. What are the 
track is kind of nine seconds longer. So when you have a deficient start time, over there you can make it up. Second best speed, but eight tenths of a second back. And right now, that is going to leave her down outside the top 15. Best speed of all for Hannah Neiser. Now she's starting to close the margins. Could be wow. top 12, maybe 11. Ninth wow. at the line. That was some. She, uh, Martin, at wow. one time, she was 80 hundreds down at the Chrysler. Yep. She got it back to 5,200. That's so from the Chrysler down, she beats Nikitina by three tenths of a second to close that gap. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's not 1,200 meters, that's in about 700 meters. She closed three tenths. You wonder why that extra nine seconds is going to help her? Mm -mm. We just saw it. She just well, ran she out of track. Is, she is in the race. And that means that Andija Teralda is out, and Alessia Kripa is on the bubble in 20th place. Martin, last week she had the 18th best time in the first run. Here she's got nine. So much better performance from this young German athlete. Look at the lines. Perfect. So Hannah Neisser firmly in the top 10. And now a debutante, Li Yuxi of China, 23 years old, another of Woody's Wonders, fifth in the Junior Worlds in 2020. Of course, didn't race in Europe last season. She has not had any official races here. Her North America's Cup debut was in January 2019. This year, there have been five Europa Cup races. She was fourth in the first one. She has won the last four races that she has started. So Europa Cup in Europe is the uh, lowest of the three sliding tiers. However, new as she is to the World Cup, it does seem like she might be coming in with a bit of a head of steam. She's been on ice Andy for Schmidt. three years. Yeah. Andy Schmidt, holding the sled, ran the British program the last three Olympics. All they did was win three gold medals and a couple other bronzes at least. Yeah. So, uh, and he he's so experienced the with the program of bringing the young kids in as soon as they show a glimmer. Yeah, only on ice three winters ago. As soon as they show that glimmer of talent, boing, in the big show. Here we go. So I wonder what her nerves are like. She's going to be like a, a quick starter. Yes, yeah, she does. No, no, just visually. Yeah, not bad. Well, three tenths quicker than Hannah Neiser, and Neiser made it into ninth place. Now, Hannah has got more sliding experience, only the eighth best speed, but off the eighth best start. But if she's winning the Europa Cup races, three consecutive wins, she's got it. She's got it figured out. Yes, she, she does. Flip one down in ninth. Now 16th best speed. Hope I don't jinx her before she just scrambling a little here. She doesn't know the track, John. She's not raced here before. Started in North America two seasons ago, so she'd be more at home, perversely, in Whistler than she would be here. 20th best speed. She is in the race at the moment. It's going to be close. It's her or Alessia Kripa, and it's her. 18th place. Three to go, that might just be enough to get her a second heat. But as you saw from yeah, uh, Andy Schmidt, that's, that's, yeah, on the bubble. Well, there's another Chinese athlete coming. Yeah. So, I don't know if that's the other, Sard or Kim from France and Korea. This is a hard hit here, though. We heard the noise. Yeah. And if, if they give us the rear shot here to the end shot, right here. She hits again there before the take on. So that's the noise we heard when they went away in the camera cut. So mistake there in that part of the track, but she's in the field. Liu Xi is in the field. On the bubble now is Jacqueline Lurling. Last week was the first time Lurling ever finished out of the top nine in any World Cup race. Now, is she going to make the cut? 
Zhao Dan of China, 18 years old, could knock her out. Heckling rolling next week in Altenburg could win the race. She might get knocked out of here. That tells you the difference in the two tracks. Well, Alexander Gassner got knocked out of the second heat in the men's competition. And Zhao Dan of China, seventh in the Youth Olympics. Her second ever World Cup race. there. Top ten at the moment, John. Right now, Merling is out. Oh, big height! It's going to be sketchy. She's still in the top ten. She's flying on the bottom, Mark. Absolutely flying. 13th, and Lurling is out. I say again, Jacqueline Lurling does not make the cut. Never mind the top ten. Never mind the podium. You mean the former world champion who also finished second in the world championships last year? She's that out of the race? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Another Chinese, the best Chinese athlete yeah. right there. Hit the lip there in 10, up on the roof. Now watch, she comes down and she's late here. Look at that. You don't see too many athletes with that type of a exit of the curve. And Zhao Dan is in a three-way tie with Tina Herman and Kelly Curtis. She's knocked out one world champion and tied another. What about Agat Bessar, Youth Olympic Games bronze medalist in 2016? 10th World Cup start for the French slider. So we've got the bronze and the silver medalist from 2016. The gold medalist no longer competing. Mark, compared to her first beat last week, it was 10 hundred four stars. Boy, she's already got a That's, position start. It's a big hole to dig yourself her. out of. Move into the field. 23rd place. Good lines, but it's low. Yeah. Really low on that curve. Doesn't have the acceleration at the start. And that lack of speed chases her all the way to the line. Agat Bessar across the line, 24th spot. Well, she's had two 19th places here. She was 23rd last week. She will be no better than 24th today. The lines are okay. Start time. You know, that's her albatross here. You can't have the 23rd best start time and expect to do well. See ya, Eagles. Yeah. Eagles in her rearview mirror will be the best view of it that Agat Bessar has. Final slider, Kim Unji of Korea. 29-year-old in her second World Cup race as well. North America's Cup champion two seasons ago. Her progress then halted by COVID. Five, she's only 43, 400 slower than her first heat of last week. Ooh, Drift, little touch big there. mistake there, Mark. Yeah. Between two to three, you can't be tapping the walls. In the 13th best start, she's already down a 15th, 15th place. Gonna get well, worse. She's her right now. It's her or Laura Dees, the Olympic bronze medalist, or this Korean slider in her second ever World Cup start. She's outside the top 20 now and probably not going to find it at the line. So where does she end up? 23rd, maybe 24th place. And across the line, 25th Seven. spot, 55-5-1. So Laura Dees hangs on by the skin of her teeth. And like her teammate Craig Thompson in the men's race, first out of the shed in heat one, will be first to go in heat two as we go 20 down to one. So Kim Yoon Ji, 25th spot where she was in last week's race. Well, look at the back end of her legs there. 
But the mistake up at two to three really sentenced her to this time. Down here in the bottom part of the track, she's right in the middle. Well, she is out of the race, so is Agat Besar and Deja Torada, Alessia Kripper and Jacqueline Lurling. But our race leader is Elena Nikitina, already a five-time winner on this track. She could make that World Cup win number six in Innsbruck alone without too much of a problem. A very handy advantage, 23 hundredths of a second in front. So unlike her compatriot, yeah. Well, two of the podium finishes from last week are there in the top two again. Yulia Kanakina comes up. Alina Tararachenkova was fourth last week, fourth now. Janine Flock tied with Megan Henry. Look at that gap, 41 to 48 hundreds back, but keep going back from third to ninth is 11 hundreds to 10th is 15, 16 hundreds. And then from Mimi Reneva in 11th, a 10th down to the tie for 17th. It is going to be three -way tie. a real changer. Yes, another three-way tie. Laura Dees makes it into the race. Jacqueline Lurling, for the first time in a World Cup, does not. Well, that is it for the first of our two heats here in Innsbruck. We will be back at 1,600 local, 1,500 GMT, 10 Eastern. Join John Morgan, me, Martin Haven, and the IBSM TV crew to see if anyone can come out on top of Elena Nikitina in Innsbruck.